Randall and Beth, if you remember from 118, the se season finale, he's contemplating adoption. He wants to sort of fulfill his, uh, le the legacy of his parents, Jack and Rebecca, honor William's memory by adopting. Do you think that This Is Us has had any kind of impact on people raising a child of a different race of their own, specifically white parents sure. raising black children? I've had a couple people who have transracially adopted come up to me and say thank you. Like they'll just be, they'll see me in an unexpected place, whatever it is, and they'll just be like, we have a black child. Mm -hmm. and thank you. And we have asked the questions about suntan lotion and haircuts and, you know, what's, what's proper about all these different things. Black hair is always a huge conversation if you have a daughter in particular. I think folks just enjoy seeing their story told in a way that's highlighted for a national audience. So, because oftentimes you feel like you're just doing this in isolation and people can't understand what you're going through. But then you see someone telling your story yeah. and you're like, they get it, you know? And we've, we, the, we had this woman, she's a young black woman who wrote a book about being a transracial adoptee. And she came and talked to our writers before we even started writing so that they could really get inside the ideas and the problems and just concerns that parents have with children of a different race. And I think that we're getting at least something right because the response has been overwhelmingly positive and just happy to see their story told. When you hear those kinds of anecdotes, do you bring them back to the show? I do. I do. Like, I, has, it, has it had an impact on different scenes or plot lines? Possibly. Dan has like four seasons of this show sort of charted out in his head already. Right. But there's always wiggle room within the train tracks to explore different colors, right? There was an instance for me personally where somebody came up to me and it was about Justin and I. And they said like, I hadn't talked to my brother in years. And I saw episode 115, Jack Pearson's son, where he leaves his play to come and yeah. find me at the office. And he's like, I called my brother just to tell him that I loved him and that I missed him. Wow. You know what I mean? Like those sorts of things, when you're in isolation, sometimes you're not necessarily aware of the impact that you're having on your audience. And then when they reflect the show back to you, Like, it's like, oh, it's not to sound like hyperbolic or whatnot, but it's more than a show. Like, it is entertainment, right? But it's, it, it cracks open people's hearts and makes you feel, demands that you feel something in the most wonderful way.